Hello everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Sheree Mansfield and I'm an industrial organizational psychology consultant. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today and hope to increase your knowledge about how psychology is applied in the workplace currently and also how you can apply it to your organizations. All right, let's get started. We're going to start out by talking about what exactly is industrial organizational psychology. That's a pretty fancy title, isn't it? <laughs> or as some call it, IO psychology. Some of you may not have heard about it. Some may have, but just don't know exactly what it is. And some may just want more information about it. Wherever you are, as far as your understanding, I'm here to help you and try to answer many questions that you may have. So feel free to ask away. That's what I'm here for. We'll then move to talking about some of the examples of how it's used in the field. We'll talk also about the benefits of applying I.O. concepts to the workplace and then end with talking about ways in which you can incorporate I.O. psychology concepts to your organization. The Society for Industrial and Organizational Psychology, or SIOP as we call them, has a very definitive definition of I.O. psychology. They note that it's a scientific study of the workplace. Rigor and methods of psychology are applied to business issues. Those issues may include talent management, coaching, assessments, selection, training, organizational development, performance, and work-life balance. An organization may be looking for an employee who has a particular personality that would allow him or her to be successful in the job. The organization may have an I.O. psychologist design an assessment that will help the organization to identify the potential employee. You also may have an organization um, that would need an I.O. psychologist to diagnose this organization. Um, let's just say that the training was not effective and uh, performance was low. So what the I.O. psychologists would come in and do is they would formulate and design an effective training program for this organization. You also may have an organization whose performance management systems have flaws in it. Um, in this situation, the I.O. psychologists would be brought in to develop a criteria to evaluate the performance of the employees. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of applying psychological concepts to the workplace. As many of you know, your organization spent a lot of time focusing on profits and not as nearly as much on psychological matters and issues. The I.O. psychologist can help the organization focus on the matters that will help make them operate more effectively and efficiently. Some of the benefits of using an I.O. psychologist include increased productivity, recruiting the right people that fit the organization, hiring better people, increased performance, fostering a team environment, and increased motivation and dedication. So now that we've talked about some of the benefits of I.O. psychology concepts, let's talk about how we can incorporate those into your businesses. Many of you would agree that your organizations are not running perfectly. Possibly you're having issues with employee engagement. These issues are causing your employees not to be motivated to work. In this situation, you could help resolve this problem by having an I.O. psychologist do an engagement intervention. These interventions create organizational conditions that support high levels of employee participation. These types of inventions will often lead to increased performance. Organizations are using I.O. psychologists to try to redefine the traditional work week so that your organizations can have employees that are actually happy. The redefinition includes flexible work practices, which includes flexible schedules, control over when to start and when to stop working, telecommuting, working outside the office, compressed work weeks, completing a week's worth of work in less than five days. Isn't that awesome? Job sharing, two employees being responsible for performing one job, and part-time work. They are often more common than ever nowadays with the help of I.O. psychologists. These psychologists are helping employees to be happy and they're taking advantage of offering the employee greater freedom. 
It also could be that in your current organization, employees complain about working too hard for the money that they're making. Possibly it would benefit to have an IO psychologist help develop and implement a better reward system for your employees. These could include programs such as goal setting programs or pay for performance programs. Thank you for all of your attention today and actually taking the time to listen to this presentation. Uh, thank you so much for all the participation. I had a great time and I hope that you all will be able to actually implement some of the things that we talked about into your businesses. Um, I really look forward to being able to do this again one day. Everyone have a great day. Thank you so much.